this uh, was a very a very nice publication that we publication that we have me with my team uh, vaccines are very important uh, managing people with uh, hemoglobinopathies like thalassemia and sickle cell disease uh, as we all know these conditions uh, are linked to, uh, with the problems with the immune system Uh, mainly because of the spleen function and uh, the long-term anemia, uh, which make those patients more likely to get infections. Uh, so, vaccines in this uh, in these patients in, uh, is more uh, and do more than just prevent infections. They also improve the quality of life uh, and reduce the number of hospitalizations uh, for these patients. Uh, the, this study, uh, which was uh, by the patients to us, uh, they answered all the, the patients answered the questions, uh, showed that uh, there are big gaps uh, in adult vaccination coverage. Uh, while in childhood, uh, in childhood vaccination, uh, the rates are in line uh, with the national guidelines, uh, the adult uh, rates uh, were not as good as they could be uh, for, uh, for even key vaccines like the flu or hepatitis or meningococcus or uh, even a pneumoniococcus uh, which is uh, very important. Uh, this increases the risk of uh, se severe complications and especially among the older adults so they have And the, these uh, uh, patients uh, have a more misunderstandings about uh, vaccination and about vaccines. Uh, so uh, the second part of the question is that we need to focus on education and uh, information for these patients. Uh, patients rely to us, to healthcare providers, for vaccine information. Uh, and, but I, I believe that they feel that the, the engagement Engagement is, lim uh, is limited. They, uh, they don't have uh, the information they need. Uh, so we have to, uh, to convey this gap by offering more proactive vaccine uh, uh, counseling and uh, keep, uh, keep focus on uh, this.